Thursday, 23rd of February, ready for Ice's Cold Farm. Concrete will have me fast. As you can tell, sweating buckets inside the tunnel. All goes towards that weight loss, so let's go. Uh, let me spin you around, show you what we're doing today. So, picking up from where we left off uh, last time round. Uh, just picked up that back edge a little bit more, just to make sure it's all nice and plumbing level. Uh, and I've just gone ahead. Um, obviously, this here is all concreted until this point. Uh, and then I've just put the post creek down there now, just to sort of hold that there in place, give a nice cap all the way around. Give that an hour now to go off, uh, even though it said it sets within uh, five to ten minutes. We're going to give it a solid hour. Um, just literally squeeze it over the pipe to create that cap there, so it can't physically lift itself out of the ground. Uh, then what we're going to do is go ahead move uh, these top, these uh, chippings, spread them all around, get the wacker plate in, wacker plate it nice and smooth. Um, and then we're getting ready for the screen coming in. So literally just gone ahead and ordered the uh, best part of 50 bags worth of cement to go with this porky tunnel screed. You can literally see the steam coming off me. I'm not even smoking, look, one hand's there. Other hand's there. It's literally the steam coming off me. Um, we're looking good. Looks a lot better in here now, all this here has been sort of filled in and stuff like that, so it's looking absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm just going to carry on screeding the rest of this into play and then we're going to crack on and do the next one in there. Let's go. Okay, it's a bit of a loud snapback. Just whack a bait in here now, these chippings. Obviously avoiding this middle trench here, which is where the pipe work is. But at least then when we're putting the screed down on top shortly, we can go right ahead and actually mix that through without having to worry about the ground moving or anything like that. Let me snap back to the second one to go miss because it's pretty darn noisy. Let's go. So I've got good news. And yes, I'm a chipper English gentleman. I'll have you know. <laughs> Smoking my pipe. Bosh. She's in a whacker plated, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Now, to exactly the same again. Another 20 ton got to go in there. A money hat. I look like a minion, don't I? We know that. Of uh, got to fix onto this uh, saw pipe here. Uh, making some serious progress though. I cannot wait for Saturday, mate. See these get fiberglassed, top coat on, sandy back. Oh, getting ready for the fish. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I actually. You know what? The next show that we attend, I'm going to wear one of these all day, like a proper British chap. You know what I mean? I'm going to get myself a little. Uh, that one piece on the oil, you know what I mean? One of them monocles, as they're called. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Okay, so we've got the piping. Uh, the bottom drain is in level with the bottom of the fiberglass board that side, and also that side, and also that side of the back. Pipe sits perfectly level. Uh, I need to mix up some more uh, concrete to make a wet mix to go underneath, uh, then make uh, a not so much wet mix to actually bund up over the top. Uh, to actually cover that, uh, we'll fill from that bottom end, mate. Here, no? no, no, we'll just constantly fill from that bottom end uh, with a stone, and then what we'll do is we'll work our way down to the bottom drain. Um, I just want to do it that way until we get the uh, concrete mix in the post underneath. Uh, so that way, then when we put the stone on, there's no flex in that pipe work or anything like that. Um, like I say, this one's all been uh, whackered down. Looking really good in there. Just getting ready for when the uh, what's it comes in tomorrow. 40 ton of uh, sharp sand again moved by hand mixed by hand tipped by hand <laughs> you know buzzing buzzing, buzzing. <laughs> let's go end of another productive day oh i can play it i'll play across that nipping off uh, tool station now Get the post route i need for that um Really looking forward to this weekend. Well, really <laughs> lights, camera, action. Uh, really looking forward to this weekend. Uh, finally got me uh, skip back in my step, as they say. Um, yeah, really looking forward to this weekend. Obviously, we've got the uh, watch me call it. Um, fiberglass is coming out. So that's going to be a real, real fun video, but keep back to you in the morning. Look at that for a view, folks. Oh, it's getting better. Um, 
snap backs in the morning and we're getting the breakfast on and we're in 40 ton by hand so far in a day and a half we've done about 65 ton by hand and I for one I'm ecstatic the polytunnel still lovely and tight fish are doing incredible uh, tow side come over on the 6th of March <sighs> it's all go 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 cannot wait to welcome you all down there and I've got another big announcement coming about the half a million litre koi pond you know buzzing all right let's go it's the morning after Friday the 24th of February big job on big job on big J's on digger Travis Birkin's loading through We've got 109 pieces of 6B1. Uh, we've got Trump the Sparky back. We've got Ian Endres back. Uh, lads are going ahead cladding. I'm building myself my butty. Things are looking good. Let me spin you around. So Mr. Endres is back over. So he's doing some cladding and he's uh, found his new toy. So we're gonna go ahead tonight. Clad down here. Clad down here. Put the cement in there, clad the front of these, uh, screed this one, screed this one, screed the back one. It's all go, 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 so let's go. Okay, so me, Kota, and Big J are just putting the uh, <coughs> excuse me, supporting ones down here, which is basically where we're going to be cladding on the outside. Yeah. So that's an SDS drill. That's for to drill it yeah. That's for to drill the screws into there. That is correct. So we've got Ian Endres over the back there doing his thing with the staple gun, living his best life. Me and Big Jane, you get this one on though. There he is. A lot of people called him the most handsome bull of all time, mate. You want to see the comments you've been getting, mate? Beautiful. Let's go. I currently note that the kids are both sprinting towards the digger including Brooklyn because Big Jay's promised them they can go up on the digger so they've been very well behaved today helping us clad everything see ya got a wide angle lens so you can see also got a shave in all that bank and that yes So they've been absolutely brilliant today, the kids have. Jay says Coco first because he's helped him today.
goes. He's bare up next. They are buzzing. Okay, so all ponds have now been clad. So we're looking real, real good. All clad, getting ready to be fiberglassed in the morning. Um, Koi Academy is nearly complete, ladies and gentlemen. Koi Academy is nearly complete. Love the smell of the wood in here. It smells absolutely incredible. So, big shift again by the boys today. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, I just need to go ahead and carry on. Uh, flicking the rest of the stone in here. Obviously, all that's gone off now uh, that's been concreted in. Then we'll go ahead and whack a plate that down. Um, but today it was just a matter of getting all this clad on, getting all that sorted. So, ready to rock and roll. Only really a short video today. Uh, reason for it being a short video is we've got such a big weekend coming up. Uh, two fiberglasses. Big J will be with one, Ash will be with the other. I'll be flitting between everybody, making sure they've all got mix, catalyst, matting, doing all the cutting. Uh, so it's going to be a busy old weekend. Quay Academy, pond window tank is going to be complete by Monday. Um, and we just need to, like I say, get the screens in the floor on this one, screen in the floor on the back, but we're still going to fiberglass the back walls that are in there uh, to get that all tickety boo and sorted, as they say. Um, but yeah, absolutely flying now. Toe side land on the, well, leave Poland on the 6th of March. Um, 35,000 quid in Bain, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, quarantine tunnels being covered next weekend. We are absolutely rocking and a rolling. Um, make sure you are subscribed along because we're about going on a hell of a journey. I've got some huge, huge news coming. Uh, stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people stay happy. Balding Reefer, out.